What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and today I wanted to show you something interesting, something different, so to speak, from the depths of the internet, a mini iPhone. And these things are becoming increasingly popular for whatever reason, there must be some merit to them. So in this video, let's check out the latest from China, a mini iPhone 8 Plus, what it can do and how bad or good it is. I'm actually very curious because I've been seeing these things pop up everywhere and I thought, hey, let me get my hands on it and check it out. So uh, this is the latest version. They actually have several of these. I'll show you a couple older ones as well. They're kind of interesting. Just the concept of getting an iPhone or something to look like an iPhone and make it as tiny as possible. All right, so uh, let's dig in. Probably not how I should be opening iPhones, but uh, let's cut in here. Oh. All right, here it is. Not the most grandiose packaging. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. It is an iPhone-like package with the iPhone on the top here. So let me get another angle in for you guys, but let's go ahead and open this thing up. It's so cute, so tiny. All right, so here it is. It's called the So Yes series. This is their latest model, and uh, here it is. <laughs> oh my gosh, already I can see uh, the iPhone lens right there. That's so funny. Wow, it is tiny. All right, so popping this out. Oh man, there it is, definitely. Uh, taking inspiration from the newer iPhone. Okay, peel this off. Not very presentable in the packaging, but hey, kind of interesting. <laughs> All right, so the design is there. It's certainly very adorable, very tiny. It does have a camera flash. The second camera lens is obviously just for aesthetic purposes. It doesn't do anything here. Uh, it does have the antenna bands similar to the 7 series here. And uh, I thought this was supposed to be an A-plus version, <laughs> but all right. Um, okay, so on the front here, oh my gosh, that's adorable. So give you a little reference. I'm gonna get my iPhone 8 Plus over here. And look at that. So tiny, tiny display you can fit in the corner of this thing. You can literally fit four of these comfortably onto the actual surface area of an iPhone 8 Plus. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and power it on. That's so funny, the power button is on the side, not on the top like the smaller iPhones. The SE is currently the smallest one Apple sells and that one still has it on the top. So um, try and boot this thing on, welcome. Oh, all right. The power button is so funny. Oh, it actually works, there's a click to it. Wow, this thing literally just fits in the palm of my hand perfectly. It does take a while to boot. Might be running an older version of iOS here. Just kidding, Android is starting. So the tiniest Android or iPhone clone ever. That's so funny. It does have a SIM slot. I'll have to see what that is because I'm curious. Is it a nano or micro? Oh, it is a micro. Funny that they didn't use the actual tiny one that Apple uses. All right, so before I get into there, I just want to see what else this comes with. Charging cable, uses micro USB. Any uh, stickers? Nothing interesting like that. All right, so. Let's take a look at this guy. All right, so here it is, the mini iPhone. And uh, let's go ahead and click the home button. The screen does power on, it's pretty dim. I wonder if it's just like that or if I can turn it up. Probably not an organic LED display. Uh, how does this thing open? Just a swipe. Oh, wow, cool. It's got some uh, icons from the iPhone as well. Let's go into settings here. Oh, it's just Android. So essentially, I think this is just a glorified Android phone that looks like an iPhone on the outside. Nothing on the inside except the icons actually look like an iPhone. The other clones actually try to uh, try to do it. So uh, brightness level, yeah, so that was a bit dim. Let's turn it all the way up. Ooh, very bright. For something this small, pretty dang bright. I'm actually so interested in seeing the specs on this thing. So I'm gonna download some apps and check that out. But you got the phone messaging icons. Definitely not something that Apple currently uses, pretty outdated. And uh, yeah, this actually reminds me something that we saw on r slash jailbreak the other day where a user turned his old iPhone into an ultra fast, basic spare iPhone or phone in general. I thought that was pretty cool. This kind of reminds me of that. So just uh, two rows of icons here. Very cool. Uh, let's go ahead and connect to Wi-Fi and get some apps downloaded. I seriously can't even right now. This thing is so tiny. It's so funny using this. Wow. But the keyboard, how, how am I going to do this? Let's see how accurate this is. So... Um, Oh man, I can't. On second thought, it's actually not that bad. It's just hard to be accurate on such a tiny display when typing. So uh, let's see if that connects. I'm pretty pretty amazed how responsive this thing is. A little bit even more than other clones I've used. And look at that, look how fluid that is. Surprisingly, I don't know whatever uh, processor is in here, but for what I paid for it, like $70, $80, not bad. 
and uh, pretty responsive. All right, so I'm gonna try and change the wallpaper here first off. All right, so I managed to connect to Wi-Fi, set a wallpaper. This thing is working flawlessly. I'm very surprised at how well it works. So next up, I wanna see uh, what actual version of Android this is running and if there are any software updates here available. So let's check that out. And Android version 6.0, pretty recent actually for something this small. Yep, all good to go here. I wanna see if I can install a launcher for the lock screen to see uh, if I can get a full iPhone experience here. All right, so this is actually super funny. I installed an iPhone 10 launcher on this iPhone 8 Plus and it looks a lot more like iOS now, not exactly the same icons, but definitely much better. So let's start from the lock screen here. We do have a iOSified lock screen now. You can slide to unlock and and we have a very similar effect to iOS here. And over here is the spotlight search, so cool. If you drag down, spotlight search. Uh, the home button does work, by the way. A double tap won't do anything. You have to hold to go into the application switcher here. And with this launcher, let me show you the control center. So it does have an iOS 11 version, which does work actually, which is pretty cool. Um, it doesn't have 3D touch or anything like that, but you are able to go in here and you know do the flashlight, open up camera shortcuts and the such. Man, using this thing is surprisingly easy. I mean, it works very well. If you wanted uh, to use it as a mini phone, you could definitely do that. It is usable. I mean, I was able to install all of this without a problem. So uh, actually another funny thing is in here, you can actually enable the iPhone 10 status bar. So if you really want the iPhone 10 look, you can get it up there. Uh, definitely not what I expected. I like this thing a lot more than I thought I would. I mean, it's very responsive. So let me go ahead and download Geekbench, maybe N2 to see what kind of numbers we can get out of this thing. I'd be honestly pretty surprised if this thing was as fast or even faster than the clones I've tested. Oh, and did I mention this thing gets quite hot? It has a tiny little battery, so I'm guessing it charges super fast. And because of that, it really does heat up. All right, so getting into Geekbench here. Let's accept that. No, that was lying in the settings. It's Android 5.1, not uh, 6.0. It's a 7S. So apparently this is supposed to be an 8, but they got that wrong. It's a 7S here. And uh, all right, let's go ahead and test that out. So this might take a while, depending on how slow the processor is. So. I'll be back. It has completed 427 and 1194 multi-core score. For some comparison here, that is the official iPhone 8 Plus and a little, little bit different there, but still for a tiny little device like this, I'm very surprised, pretty capable. Let's see about it actually in particular. So it has one gigabit or one gigabyte of RAM and ARM MT658. Wow, pretty capable. This is the same processor they actually put in the bigger clones. Anyways, let's see the graphics capability of this device with GFX Bench. And to do for some reason is not supported. I think it's kind of amazing that Android is optimized for so many screen sizes, so many devices. I mean, my stovetop is running Android. That's how far it's come. Pretty dang cool, but I actually wanna see what the resolution of this display is. So hopefully this program will tell me that. For some reason, it wasn't able to complete the rest, but uh, for the original just T-Rex one, it got 590 score while the iPhone gets 3,327. So quite a departure there from Apple's official product. Now, if I actually look at the info of this device, I found the resolution of the display and it's 430 by 240. So not so far off from the original iPhone. Those were 480 by 320, but a little bit bigger, of course. So it does have a quad core CPU, 1.3 gigahertz and a Mali T400 GPU. So not so bad for the price, really not bad at all. And one gigabyte of RAM, of course. For a device this small, I think that's enough processing power that it needs. So next up, uh, let's go ahead and test out that camera quality. It does have a front facing selfie shooter as well as a rear one. Officially, I don't even know what the megapixels are, but let's go shooting and see the results. All right, so with the flash on to provide a lot of light, uh, living room here, so pretty bad in terms of responsiveness. Uh, let's see low light, see if we can catch the sunset outside. Oh, hey, not so bad. So pretty grainy. Pretty blurry, but uh, it is able to make out some of this. So, uh, wouldn't say it's terrible, but definitely, I think, worse than other clones that I've tested. And the selfie camera. So, this one is very cropped and it has a very interesting aspect ratio. I do have to hold it super far away because. Man, it needs to be far away in order to get even decent amount of stuff in the picture. My iPhone, I'd hold just about here. So that's pretty bad. And lastly, with this thing on the official YouTube application, I wanted to see how the uh, sound is because this thing does have 
three speaker holes. I'm sure just one of these has a speaker, but let's see. All right, so some zoo here. Oh man, it sounds like I'm listening to this from a hundred feet away, super tinny, can't make out much. All right guys, so there it is, the iPhone 8 Plus clone, but the mini version. Compared to the real one, man, honestly, they did a good job. I'm, I'm very surprised how fun this thing is. It'd make a fun little toy for a kid, maybe at 60 bucks, so give it a try. Maybe you guys will like it. I'm honestly surprised how much I do. Camera, again, not a strong suit, but the design, they definitely got pretty similar. Uh, the functionality, nope, it's just stock Android, but with some skins, you can make the best of it and actually make it look like an iPhone. And like the effort that they did put in on this now there are a couple other ones i did want to show you so some uh, that are a little bit older but also pretty similar to the other models check this out it's got a mirror sheen on the front and back it almost seems like the display is everywhere but alas that is not the case so let me try and turn this thing on how do i do that does it even have a power button i'm guessing this is it all right, and here's this. It is pretty crappily made, it's hard to tell, but there is a small display there and just a dialer, so pretty much just a phone. It is a touch screen, I believe, so you do have some applications here, but it's pretty low tech, nothing interesting going on here. So it does look like an iPhone 10 somewhat if you wanna fool nobody with this, basically. And here it is, so definitely a more dated design, but more of an Apple-like box here, so yes, and uh, eight gigabytes. All right, let's dig in. Highly doubt the eight gigabyte claim here, but also about the same price. Actually, this one was a little more expensive, which is strange considering it's a much older product. But uh, let's see size-wise how it compares. Oh, wow, that's chunky. They definitely made an improvement to the new one in terms of thickness, and it is a little bit smaller than you know, the other one we checked out, so this one definitely is older. Um, this looks like the old iPhone 2G clones from way back in the day. And the front, I guess, kind of looks like an iPhone 5S series. Not as good. Definitely put a lot of more effort into the newer one, but let's power it on. I do not like the power button placement. So definitely not as great of an attempt, even design-wise, as the new one. But it is rose gold here. So got that going for it. It does have a headphone jack. I just realized this one does not. They literally copied Apple. Whoa, <laughs> creepy. But uh, they copied Apple with the no headphone jack deal. On the older model, there was one. So evolution in the worst ways, guys. Come on, learn from Apple. Again, running Android, but this one's already set up. Um, all right, let me turn the brightness up. The actual keyboard on this guy is a lot easier to use, but uh, it's running a really old version of Android. This has to be like 4.0 or something. So let me see what that is. Android 5.1, hmm. Somewhat doubt that. That one is running it, and it's definitely a lot fresher looking. This is like gingerbread looking. Pretty bouncy, the animations. They tried to copy the icons. A lot of the older ones, of course, but I'm sure I can run the same skin on it as this guy. So um, yeah, I mean, not much to say. It does have a selfie camera as well. Just one camera back here. Pretty sure they're both terrible. So those are the generations of the iPhone clones. They did get better, which is kind of funny to see. So this one I would kind of recommend if you guys want as a little toy. I don't know about this one, man. It's chunky. Doesn't really have that iPhone feeling like this one does. So if you want a miniature bite-sized iPhone in your life, you guys certainly can buy one. And uh, I had a lot of fun making this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. So uh, stay tuned for more. Got some more exciting videos coming. Peace.